I'm Levi Bosca, the owner of Butcher Barbecue Stand, and uh, I'm the pit master, the dishwasher, the lawn mower, the everything guy, and then I have five awesome employees to keep this place the way it is. So I got started very young age, about five years old. I'm probably, I guess you could say, a third generation barbecuer and a second generation butcher. Uh, my grandparents owned a barbecue restaurant 200 yards from where this place is. I grew up there from five, building fires, rubbing ribs, everything like that. And then my dad opened up a, a meat processing plant and I was making hamburger at five years old too. And so I learned the whole process of butchering and started butchering when I was 15. And so that's how I kind of got started in all this. Uh, I just started traveling around with, around with him and learned the whole competition style of barbecue and just really took off from there. And then sitting at the meat shop one day, decided I wanted to open up a barbecue restaurant and carry on the legacy. So that's what I did. So we decided to use Cook Shack because that's what we already knew uh, from the competitions. That's what my dad cooked on the FEC 100 for, well, the last almost 10 years now. And so when we decided to build this, it was just a no-brainer to go with Cook Shack. We know exactly how to ran, how the pellets cooked, and we knew from small to the big unit, still is gonna be just as persistent and same kind of cooking. We could still use the same times and everything on all the cooking and keep it exactly the same. So starting on the comp, from comp to restaurant style barbecue, the main difference is, is so when you're doing a competition and we cook with the Cook Shack if you see seven, or 150, we cook for one bite and it has to be perfect for 15 minutes. So when we cook here at the restaurant, I have to cook it has to be good for 12 hours. Cook Shack allows me to do that. I'm, I'm allowed to, I can cook the same style that we do and it stays perfect all day long. Um, another thing is, is we had a FEC, FEC 500 and we went with the 750 and I'm really glad we did because it's full all the time. Um, if anybody was getting into a restaurant, I would definitely say, if you think you need something, I would go one bigger because once, once something's mounted in, then you're, there's nothing to do. There's nowhere to go. So we open at 11. Um, if we're ready at 10.30 to 10.45, we start serving. We start getting people here about 10.15, sometimes 10 o'clock. They start showing up. Um, Fridays and Saturdays, we're open until 8 p.m. or sold out. If you want ribs or brisket, I used to tell people to get here before 5. I would get here before 3. Um, here in the last month or so, we've been completely out of food by 4 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. Sundays were open from 11 to 3. The only time I guarantee any food on Sundays is 10.55. That's about the only time that we have everything. So we cook all our briskets, all our pork butts, all our ribs, all our sausage, all our hot links, and all our chicken inside the FEC 750. Thursday I show up, we kick the smoker on, and it never shuts off until Sunday night. It runs straight through all the time. We put about 25 briskets in it, and then we run pork butts at the same time. And it cooks just fine. It's just like it does when it's half empty or half full. It's, I have a friend in Kansas City who explained it to me the best way is we're only open three days a week. And the way he explained it to me is, is that there's three kinds of barbecue restaurants. There's my kind of barbecue restaurant that's three to four or five days a week. Uh, they go until they sell out. It's gone when it's gone. He owns a two to three person, I mean a two to three location place up in Kansas City. He has uh, two locations. He's about to have three locations. And they do three to five million dollars a year and then there's chain restaurants and the way he explained it to me is is every guy has his number and he said you know levi whenever you open a place up it's just what do you want out of life and he said the bottom line is is you probably open three days a week and make the same amount of money as i do seven days a week at two locations so that's something that i really took into credibility when building this is i still wanted free time i grew up in a restaurant uh with my grandparents they were never home it's like a second marriage so you don't have to be open seven days a week, nine to five, to be successful in a barbecue restaurant. Somebody called me and asked me what I thought about Cook Shack and why they should do business with them is because of everybody that works for the company, um, Stuart and Eddie, you can contact anybody anytime and they can tell you exactly what the problem is or if you're having problems, they'll be there. Um, it's a big little company to me. It's, it's, they're, they're very large, but they keep it small. And just just the the camaraderie from the, everybody, the whole team, from the back guy to the CEO, they're just everybody's really awesome to you.